Something slightly different today, folks. I've found a wasp's nest uh, just right outside my front door. Uh, I've uh, booted it over to b and i I've bought a couple of bits. So I thought I'd cobble together a shoddy review to see how they fare. Um, so we're going to tackle this stripey problem straight away. Um, bear with me, I'll just show you the uh, well, what we've got. It's uh, it's not a nest as so well. I'm guessing there's a nest up there, but it's just a crack, so it's a little bit awkward. I'll show you what I'm dealing with. Yeah, terrible shot. But um, they're kind of going up into this uh, little bit just outside the front door. You have to be careful. I've waited until the wife and kids are out because that bit's actually right underneath my son's bedroom. Um, so I think, from what I understand on the internet, ideally you should leave it till very early morning or late at night when they're all in the nest. But uh, I'm just going to have to go in there gung-ho and, uh, and see what happens. Okay, so uh, first up, we've got this uh, wasp. Ow, ow, ouch! Okay, a little bit shoddy. Uh, this wasp trap um, from BQ. Now, uh, not really. Hold on, am I still zooming in? Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, um, let me have a look what the crack is. So, I thought with me having to do it during the day when it's quite active, there's going to be a few people coming. A few people I'm humanizing them a few wasps coming back to the nest so I thought let's try and trap them whilst, uh, whilst they're at it so this uh, was supposed to fill with uh, sugary water I guess is like a I'm guessing that cloudy bit is your uh, sort of fill level they'll hop on in they'll struggle to get out and uh, also I've got a string in there to uh, Man, one handed operation. Looks like we've got a string in there so we can hang this sucker up. We've got a couple of trees outside, so that will come in handy. Second thing we've got this is a headliner foaming wasp nest killer, rapid knockdown action. Now, um, I mean, ideally, you'd apply this directly onto a nest, cover it. Um, I think it suffocates the uh, poor old fellas, but um, say I'm doing it into a crack, so and upwards into the air. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't, I'm loath to call someone out for mega bucks if I can sort it out myself with a couple of quid tin of this from being Q, but um, never know. I could get a, a swarm of angry wasps. Chasing after me until I jump into a lake or some other cartoon scenario. But um, so that's what we're dealing with here. Let's see how we go. So here we have it. I've just uh, filled it, apparently uh, one third full with sugary water, and I have put so much sugar in this. Even if a wasp trying to escape, they'll die of diabetes or something. So I'm going to hang that up. We'll see how we do. Complete with noisy van. Um, Starting to rain now, so it might be a good time to uh, tackle this nest. Quick break because uh, I found out I was covered in uh, sugary syrup, and uh, I've just seen a postie, so I don't want him walking into uh, a swarm really. So, I'm a considerate member of a community like that. So, one minute. Okay, post is taking ages, so he's asked for this. He's got the scenic route. So uh, it's raining. I'm guessing all the wasps are at home because don't, you don't see them out in the rain, do you? Uh, so let's see how Doff, foaming wasp nest killer, acts. Okay, okay, hold on. Ah, 
I'm too far away, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too far. Oh. <coughs> okay, so it wasn't the uh, the far shooting phone stuff I've seen on YouTube. Um, I'll have to get like a step ladder out or something. I'm gonna give it ten minutes in case I've agitated some of my stripey friends out there. Um, I've inhaled enough of it, so I feel like I've got some weird superpower now. Well, superpower is dizziness, I think. But uh, we'll give it another crack. Um, I'll get a little bit higher and uh, see how it goes. Okay, after scouring the house, uh, since I don't have any step ladders, nor anything that looks like it'll be able to take my weights or my muddy trainers. So um, I'm just going to try and get a little bit closer, a bit braver, and um, maybe try it at a slightly different angle. Maybe you don't like going upwards. Let's, uh, let's give another bash. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I still haven't found anything I can stand on. Um, either I'll have to buy a step ladder, or hopefully, you never know, that measly little bit of foam there might have done something. Um, maybe it's up to the, uh, the sugary water to uh, to save the day, but not holding out much hope. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll let you know, and uh, in the meantime... Um, I'm too scared to go out, so I'll just have to stay in and put a pizza in the oven. It's uh, Pizza Express American Hot, so I'll uh, let you know how that goes as well. Double review. Triple review. Okay, so about an hour has passed. Um, we'll just have a quick look. I can't imagine a lot's happened. Uh, apart from in the interim, I ate this uh, Pizza Express American Hot pizza. Uh, the verdict's in. Didn't feel much to it. It's too salty, and if that's how hot America is, then uh, you won't need your sun cream when you go. But let's have a look. Not a lot going on there, but I have noticed. We've got a few. Corpses down there, let's have a look at the uh... God, it's a hover fly. I can't focus on. Yeah, nothing in there. Right, okay. Okay, so there you have it, the uh after an hour and a half, maybe, the uh, the sugar trap has zero casualties, just the, the passing interest of a hoverfly. Um, the foam, I'm sure, hasn't eradicated the problem. But we have got the start of a decent looking body count at the bottom there. So uh, hopefully by the time the wife and kids get home, they'll have to step over a, a corpse of buzzing, writhing bodies. But... Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted. But um, as for now, yeah, the phone looks all right if you can get it on him. All right. <laughs>